guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and in today's video I'm going to be talking about macros and how often you should change them. Oftentimes I see coaches starting off and even myself starting off as a coach, I got really looped into the fact that if I didn't change someone's macros, maybe they didn't think I was doing enough as their coach and so then I was constantly changing people's macros so they felt like they were getting a service from me. Um, I quickly learned that that was not the way to do it and it was not what I built my own foundation on starting out. And so so especially if you're a client and you're wondering why your coach doesn't change your macros, it's important to look at multiple variables. Of course, you can always ask your coach and your coach should be there to be able to answer questions and teach you along the way. But some reasons why I might not change someone's macros. One is if we're still seeing progress. So if they're in a deficit and they're still seeing progress on the macros that they're at, I don't need to change them because the goal of dieting is to be able to eat the absolute most you can for as long as you can. It's not to eat the least for as long as you can survive. So one, if they're still making progress. If they're in maintenance, they're not going to change macros super often. And I think that that's what people get caught up to, into. And that's why maintenance ends up being like the least sexy phase of everything. Because when you're dieting, you're able to see those results very quickly. You're seeing it happen. In 12 weeks of dieting, you can see some freaking cool results. But when it comes to 12 weeks of maintenance, you might not see as cool results. So then it feels like, oh, I'm plateaued. When you're not really plateaued, you just need Need more time at maintenance. I spent over a year not dieting, staying at maintenance, and it was phenomenal for my physique. It was great for my mental headspace. It was great for my physique. I was still making gains in the gym, um, still able to progress. So it's something that is just going to be a slower process than what results you might be used to seeing when dieting. Um, and another thing is when it comes to changing macros, a lot of people get really wrapped into my macros need to keep in, in, like increasing and keep improving. Um, and it comes into the fact where people play the comparison game too much and they're trying to increase their macros just to post about how high their macros are. Um, and again, I've gotten wrapped into that. I've made almost every mistake in the book, but that's how you learn from them. As I constantly wanted higher macros to tout how much higher my macros were getting, when I've realized over the past few years that doesn't matter what I'm eating, doesn't matter what someone else is eating, and I don't need an exorbitant amount of food to be able to make progress. Um, each person is going to be individual in that. Another reason someone might not change your macros is if adherence wasn't perfectly there. So let's say that travel um, was off and maybe your adherence was there, but travel threw a few other variables off. Um, let's say that maybe you ate really late the previous night and you had a few meals out more than you normally do. Again, you could have hit your macros perfectly Perfectly, but it might have had some water retention, some digestion problems. So it's able to look at those variables. If digestion is off, I'm probably not going to change macros unless I'm changing allotments of macros to help with digestion. But if someone just kind of needs to write it out, there's no reason to make more changes to be able to do that. People get wrapped up into that more, more, more. Something's wrong, I need to change something. When most of the time, time is on your side. So um, another thing is if you are experiencing bloating or inflammation or anything like that. I'm not going to be super quick to bury macros or bring them up. I'm going to look at the full picture of things. Um, and if everything's going according to plan, there's no reason to change them. So you might change them every few weeks. You might not change them for a month or plus. Um, sometimes I, my macros didn't personally change for over six months when I was in off season because I was just trucking along. Training was changing, cardio is changing. So it's something where you don't always need to be changing something to see progress time is going to be one thing that you really, really want on your side in that. So don't get too wrapped up in how often macros change or needing a change every week from your coach. Your coach is there to look at the variables, look at the full picture and make a decision and help you learn about that decision. They're not there just to change things for you to feel like you're making progress. So just some things to think about moving forward as you look at doing your own macros or if you have a coach or if you're wondering how often should I change my macros.